Hey folks, so I meant to make this video a few days ago, but I got caught up with family stuff. Uh, but this is really important. You need to immediately change your custom RPC settings for Ethereum in your mess mask, like right now. So four days ago, we found out that the, the custom RPC that is used for the Ethereum mainnet is run by a company called Infura. And they are basically taking data from us for every, every time we use our MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet, um, like IP addresses, uh, etc. So if we, I mean, there's loads of news articles around this, but basically, um, consensus has informed users that it is set to collect additional data from those using its popular Infura tool, attracting criticism on social media in the process. Yada yada yada. Um, and here we go. As per updates to consensus privacy policy, when you use Infura's as Infura as your default RPC provider MetaMask, it will collect your IP address and your Ethereum wallet address whenever you make a transaction. Now, I'm not a criminal. I've never done anything criminal, and I don't plan to do anything illegally. Um, so some would say, "Well, what have you got to worry about, Simon?" But the thing is, it's not what I. Am going to do in the future that concerns me it's what people with my data will do in the future so we've seen what, what off um, um, not Ofcom ah, uh, OFAC did with uh, the privacy um, protocol of tornado cash I mean hell the the main dev is in jail right now Sam bankman fried is running around buying groceries in the Bahamas yet um, there's literally someone a developer in jail that made tornado cash so what I don't want in the future is you know uh, somewhere out there Siam has bought some Monero let's say um, has swapped his ETH for Monero on whatever exchange whether it's a DEX or what even if you're yeah doing this through a DEX and just just doing hell an atomic swap because I've used my MetaMask to get Monero or whatever what if they suddenly decide Monero is as bad as Tornado Cash, and everyone that has Monero or has done something with Monero or Zcash or whatever is now a terrorist or, or whatever. My IP address and that, those transactions are going to be there. So all of a sudden, I've got you know um, a target on my back. It's just like there are a load of influencers that got sent 0.1 ETH uh, from Tornado Cash during this whole um, Tornado Cash thing, and all of a sudden they're, they're on a blacklist and they had assets frozen. So yeah, uh, it's not what. I'm not worried about what I'm going to do. It's what other people, my data is going to do. So, um, yeah. So you basically, yeah, you need to change the the settings uh, for your custom RPC. So just quickly, what, what the hell is a custom RPC? I'm not a techie. I had to Google it myself. Uh, but from my idiot um, understanding, there's us with our computer. There, there's a server of some sort. Whoops, you know, there's a server over here. Uh, and then there's a network in the middle, and a custom RPC um, is, is basically it's it's stuff going back and forward from uh, you, the network, and the server. Uh, again, you, you don't really need to know the technical stuff behind it. Uh, I'm pretty sure 99% of the people watching this video have no idea how the internet works or how an email is sent and received. I mean, hell, I don't. So you don't need to know, uh, or how you know the intricate details of how a car works yeah all of us drive cars so you don't need to know however what you do need to know is enough to protect yourself so what you need to do is get on to um, your MetaMask I've already logged in on some wallet I haven't used yet um, just before anyone tries to stalk me so you need to go to um, you click Ethereum mainnet or whatever the, the network is at the top and then you click add network and this will open up a, a large screen here now annoyingly you can't like the Ethereum mainnet is there as sort of a default so you're gonna have to basically create another manual uh, network now this is then what led me into a, a fair bit of googling um, so obviously I then started googling Ethereum custom RPCs etc and it, it is a bit of a minefield so hopefully I've saved you stuff so I initially came across Chainlist and I thought oh this, this looks cool uh, surely the one with the green privacy is best but then my 
bullshit detector and my squirrel sense was like, oh, this looks horrible. Blah, blah, blah. And after a lot more Googling, um, I, I basically found uh, Anchor. So, and I realized, like, what, why did some have a privacy thing and some didn't, and I didn't understand. Anyway, long story short, cut to the chase. Anchor is a Web3 protocol that basically is a, a, a bit of a pow, um, infrastructure powerhouse in terms of web web3 um, and it is censorship resistant um, I looked into this a bit more and it seems to me the best one out there um, yeah secure our consensus me mechanism ensures that your data won't be compromised and your project stays up and safe etc etc so um, I'm going to be using this one the anchor one so basically go back to any of the I mean there's loads of websites showing you know uh, RPCs and whatnot so um, it's this one here that I'm going to do now you can either do that but I always like doing things the manual way um, so let's so what we have to do is go to here you can name it whatever you want so I'll do it in caps locks so I definitely always see it new RPC now the URL we need to get so that's the one so I just copy control C control V definitely double check it the chain ID is going to be OX1 ah right back to the video did more googling <laughs> um, I went and basically found the anchor docs and it basically says to ignore the chain ID warning so I'm just gonna put one there we go it's used by other network uh, and then just follow this. So the symbol is ETH, and then we use EtherScan for Block Explorer. So copy, so ETH, and then Block Explorer, save. And there we go. Um, and then you can do some uh, test transactions, etc. But at least you're not going to be using um, the old one. So, yeah. So make sure when you are playing around with your uh, MetaMask that it's the new one the new RPC and like always with any transaction whether you're doing lots or not amount, uh, bleh, a small or a big amount of money always do a test transaction always um, just send a couple of quid over and then see if it works etc etc so that's that one hopefully that makes sense I'll try and put these um, or oh, I won't try I will I'll put these links into the video below and the other thing, thing I wanted to talk about are some Charlie charts. So, um, yeah, we've had a little uh, mini breakdown here. So the other day um, in my telegram, I said that we should uh, see a little move down soon. There's a bit of a, as you can see here, there's a bit of a high test and um, high test there, head and shoulders and a bit of a support level, which needed to be broken. Um, and we weren't too far off that, well, I say we, I, um, probably about, I don't know, 12 hours out, uh, as in it happened about 12 hours later, so this is last night about 3 in the morning. Um, so we had that nice little move down, and that move is not finished yet. Um, it's, I, there's a little bit more to go, so I was being conservative with this bit here. Um, Looking at some of the other things, oh yeah, going back to sorry, Bitcoin, so in terms of the hash rate, thankfully I found it on um, TradingView, which is good, I'm keeping an eye on that hash rate. We can see that it, there's definitely, it has breached this sort of level here, and I'm hoping it continues falling. Um, a, a fall in the hash rate means miners are going bust, or they're just turning off their machines. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that. If you want to find out how to add that, just go to your watch list, do this. Uh, click the plus thing, go BTC, hash rate, or oh, no, just type in hash rate, sorry, hash rate, and you'll see stuff for uh, a whole bunch of other proof of work coins. Huh, ETH is not proof of work anymore. Um, but yeah, also a bit of a shout out or a request, because I don't know everything. Um, I used to use alt perp. Um, so alt perp used to be a sort of altcoin index that showed you you know basically all the alts performance ex excluding bitcoin but that was actually run by ftx <laughs> so obviously all of ftx charts have now buggered off so if you know of any alt perp uh, or altcoin 
type um, trading view trackers, it'll be pretty handy. Uh, index, I, I've tried everything, alt index or whatever, yeah, I can't find anything. So um, yeah, that'll be pretty handy. Uh, and in terms of the other charts, so um, yeah, I think I'll carry on this within the community video, but, uh, but anyway, I uh, hope this helps. Chat soon. Make sure you change your custom RPC. Toodles.